Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can remove your Windows installation from a dual boot setup if you have installed Linux after Windows and you have the scrub menu at the start of your computer where you can choose which operating system you want to use. And now we want to get rid of Windows and make all the available disk space available for Linux. Everything I describe here in this video is also available in this blog post. I will put the link in the video description. First, I recommend doing a backup of your data and your system because we will be fiddling around with our partitions here. And in that case, it's always a good idea to have a backup in just in case if something went or goes wrong. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we need three things. Um, first is RescueZilla. Uh, I like RescueZilla because you can use it, for example, to do a backup of your system first. And also there's a program, a tool called Gparted in it, which we would then use in order to um, modify our partitions and remove Windows and resize the Linux partition. So you can download RescueZilla here from rescuezilla.com. Download, click here. I've already done that. And the next thing we need is uh, a tool to create a bootable USB drive. Uh, I choose Belena Etcher here. It's also a free software which you can download here for your Linux system. I've already downloaded that too, so we can get started. First, we connect our uh, USB drive to our computer. I've already done that too. And we extract a Belena Etcher here. It's a zip. We download a zip here and now we extract it. And this takes a few seconds and well, I don't know why this is, uh, but it, I always get this error here, but in the end, it, it does not matter. So we enter the folder here, and here we start Belena Etcher, and this will then bring up this application here, and we choose Flash from File. Here we select our um, RescueZilla ISO, ISO file, then we select the target, our USB drive, uh, just in case uh, I have to mention it, uh, everything on this drive will be deleted. So if there's any important data on it, um, back up it first. And once this is done, we just click flash. And this creates now our bootable USB drive with RescueZilla on it. Takes a few seconds, minutes, and we will skip forward. Okay, once this is finished, we will now boot from our USB drive. So I connect it here to my computer and turn the computer on. And in my case, I have to hit the F12 key to get in the boot menu. It's different on every computer. And usually it's F12, F2, escape or whatever. You can see it. One time boot menu will be opened. And here we select our USB drive. In my case, it got this name here. And then we can start Rescue Ziller. Okay, here we go. Start. Okay, here we go. Um, Rescue Ziller has started and we can now uh, close it here. Uh, the reason I use this uh, RescueZilla image, uh, or I like this RescueZilla image, you can use it also to do a backup of your computer before you continue. Okay, let's close it. And here on the desktop, you find Gparted, which is our tool, which we can use to remove Windows. And here we say our layout of our disk. We have this NTFS partition here. This is our Windows partition. This is our Linux partition. And here's another NTFS partition. This is our Windows Rescue uh, partition here. And now we're going to delete the Windows partitions here. So we hit right click and delete on this one and also on this one here. Uh, don't worry, uh, the changes are only um, are getting, getting written to the disk if you hit this button here. So if you make anything wrong here, you can just close it, start again, and nothing happened to your computer yet. Okay, now we have removed Windows, and now we right-click here on our Linux partition and we resize and move here. And what we're going to do is just resize our partition here so that it uses all the available disk space resize and remove. We get this warning here. Uh, that's okay. That's a default warning. So we just hit okay. And this is now our new layout and all available disk space is now used for the Linux partition. Uh, now we hit this button here to write the partitions to our disk. Um, we are getting warned again. And um, as I said before, it, it is advised to have a backup before proceeding. 
hit apply and now the changes are written to the disk data is moved around partitions are getting deleted and yeah so we have to wait a little bit okay everything is done now here and now we're gonna reboot our computer and hopefully linux will boot or still boot <laughs> okay okay here we go we still have our grub menu here windows is still here we will get to that later and well we can start linux now here and see if the boot logo appears okay this looks good and here we go linux booted just as normal and if we have a look in our disks application here we can now see that our linux system now uses all the disk space and windows is gone okay said before uh, windows is still in our boot menu and we have this waiting time during the boot up and i will address this in the next video uh, however if you want to get it done urgently uh, there's a blog post here and i will put the link in the video description with the commands you need to use in order to remove the windows bootloader from your system okay well and that's it